Hi guys, it's Melissa with Sew Yours. Today is just a quick video to show you how to make a crossbody strap out of two pieces of shorter fabric. So let's say you purchase one yard of fabric, you decide later on that, oh, I wanna use this fabric for so-and-so pattern, but I need a 55 inch long crossbody strap. Well, you can still do that with two shorter pieces of fabric. So what I've done is I've cut my fabric according to my pattern width um, in general, if you want a one inch wide strap, you're gonna cut that four inches wide. So I've done that twice. Essentially, if you're gonna do a 55 inch wide, or excuse me, a 55 inch length crossbody strap, you're gonna to wanna to cut two pieces that are 30 inches in length. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to place them right sides together. So this is my right side, and this is my right side right here, at a 90 degree angle like I've done right here. You can see that they are placed together. Clip them into place like I've done. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna find the end of the top of this one right here. And I just made a little mark with my pen. Then I came in with my ruler and I am matching this corner right here with the edge right here. And I drew a line to connect those two. This is going to be my sew line. So I wanna go ahead and sew right on this which I'm gonna go ahead and do. That's now sewn together. So as you can see, I'm going to trim this away in just a moment, but if I go ahead and open this up so that right sides are facing up, you can see I've got a longer piece of fabric now. So what we wanna do with this extra is I wanna leave a little bit, about a 3 eighths of an inch here, extra of seam allowance so that I can go ahead and fold that seam allowance um, opposite of each other. So let's go ahead and get that trimmed up. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open this nice and flat, kind of finger press it, take it to your iron if you're working with cotton fabric. And then I want to lay my seams flat. So I'm gonna open up my seams just like this. And again, if you have an iron and you're working with cotton, press that with an iron. I'm gonna take this over to my sewing machine with these seams pressed open like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch down the left and the right side at about an eighth of an inch right here. Okay, now I have that top stitch down both the left and the right side of that seam we created. I went ahead and added my double-sided tape to the wrong side of the fabric because I am working with vinyl. You can skip this if you're working with cotton fabric. I'll remove the paper backing from the double-sided tape and I'll go along the uh, strap here and fold over the raw edge to meet the line that I've drawn. Repeat that for both sides. All right, I've gone ahead and folded the strap like I indicated, and then I went ahead and folded it again in half. So all of those raw edges are now encased inside along the inside here. Now you might be asking yourself, well, why am I doing this seam at a right angle versus just taking two pieces of fabric like this and sewing it straight across here. The reason is that it would be very bulky with the seam allowance being all in the center straight across like this. When we do it at a 90 degree angle, we're distributing that bulk along the strap. So you can see I've got the seam right here. I flip over. Now I have the seam right here. So I've got some bulk, about half the bulk here, and I have the other half of the bulk right here. So that makes for more of a, a seamless strap whenever you're using it versus having all the bulk together straight across. I'm gonna take this to my sewing machine now, just like we normally would. You're gonna sew along the open edge first, add an eighth of an inch seam allowance, and then sew the opposite edge as well. Okay, there you have it, a crossbody strap made with two pieces of fabric. Here is that seam that we created, and I've attached all of my hardware. The hardware is available for purchase on my website at sewyours.com. I'll also leave a link in the description box for all of the other tools that I've used in order to create this strap. Now that I've sewn mine, it's time to sew yours.